Four Jacks continues. Just about everyone can relate. It's like having a spy track what you do online. You search for something in your web browser, and then you see ads pop up for the exact same thing. That's no coincidence. But as consumer investigator Lauren Verno explains, there is something you can do to stop it. Those annoying ads, they're based on your browsing history and they are called targeted ads. Now, if you think it's a little bit too much like Big Brother watching you, Consumer Reports has some tricks to get your privacy back. Consumer Reports says instead of reaching a mass audience like TV commercials do, targeted ads allow advertisers to reach specific consumers. They're directed specifically at you and they're based on the things that companies think you might be interested in or maybe are more likely to buy. Companies do this in part by keeping track of what you're searching for online. Let's say you're shopping for sneakers on the internet. Companies are keeping track of the websites you visit and the things that you're doing on digital products, and sooner or later, you're going to see a sneaker ad. If this feels like you're giving up too much of your privacy, Consumer Reports says there are ways to keep your online activity private. First, try using an ad blocker. Ad blockers are usually browser extensions that look for common components. Ad blockers are usually browser extensions that look for the common components of online ads. If they find them, they block them. Some popular options include Adblock Plus and UBlock Origin. Another trick. You can use private browsing mode on your browser, which isn't a foolproof method, but it will help protect you in some situations. Private browsing mode works in part by deleting the browsing history on your computer after you close it. You can also consider using browsers like Brave and Firefox that have built-in ways to help stop targeted ads. You can also reset your advertising identifier on your smartphone and opt out of personalized ad tracking using the operating system. Just head to newsforjax.com and we'll take you step-by-step -step on how to do it. Just look inside this story on the homepage. I'm consumer investigator Lauren Verno, The Local Station.